<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to talk about The Real Housewives of Miami, Season 6, Episode 10, Mamacita Madness, Part 2. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right on into this. So Alexia and Marisol storm out, and Nicole is venting to Kiki. She's like, how am I supposed to know that Anna called someone a dead whatever the fuck 10 years ago? I wasn't around back then, blah, blah, blah. She's getting all emotional and whatnot. And Kiki, she wasn't around back then either. You know, she came on as a friend of when Nicole came on as a full-timer and whatnot. But Kiki's privy to, you know, Anna's bullshit. And to be fair, Anna was on the show 10 years ago. But the shit that Anna's talking is much more recent. Like, they're showing clips from, like, fucking four months ago. You know what I mean? So, you know, during Nicole's whole, like, oh, I'm, I'm new to the group, blah, blah. That's not really doing her a whole lot of favors. Although, to be fair, Larsa has been around since fucking season one. Though not consistently, because, you know, she was on during season one, and she went off the show, yada, yada, yada. But she's been, like, in the Miami housewife scene for a bit longer. And she is allegedly unaware of the bullshit with Anna, so... Who knows? But then Nicole also says, you know, I don't sit around listening to fucking podcasts all day. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So who knows about that? Gertie, Lisa, and Larsa, they all roll up as Julia is outside talking to Alexia and Marisol. And as I mentioned in the last recap, Marisol is just trying to get the fuck out of Dodge. She's like, Alexia, I want to leave now. <laughs> She's not there with it. And it's funny because Anna's actually coming to actually like, air out Alexia's bullshit. But Marisol is like, no, I don't fuck with that bitch. I'm out, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, she's not even coming for you, really. But, you know, whatever. And once the ladies head inside, we flash to Adriana and Anna. They're in the car on the way over. And they're shit-talking Alexia. They're, like, mocking her whole, like, oh, I was born a star. I'm a star. That's why my parents named me Alexia Astrid, because I'm a star. All this bullshit. And then uh, at the brunch, Grady reveals she's having a surgery the very next day like a, a lumpectomy, kind of go in and see, remove the cancer cells, like kind of um, see what's up with them and see if she needs radiation or chemo, kind of just a, like the first surgery, kind of see what's up. Uh, Russell's sister, Jill, she's there at the, at the brunch as well. I guess she has like six kids, so Gertie was like, oh, I'm gonna invite her as well. Of course, you know, because of what she's going through, she wants to like spend more time with her family, get this quality time in. So she invited Jill and she and Russell look so much alike. And I love when that happens with siblings. Like, you know what I mean? Just like they just happen to look alike. And while they're at the table, Lisa addresses Gertie and she straight up says, you know, you were talking about my finances and if Jody was helping me and blah, blah, blah. And that's none of your business. And Lisa also says that she feels like Gertie's comment about the Corolla and whatnot. It was almost like a like, she was relishing in it. Like, some shit like that, which I don't think Gertie was being malicious about. It was kind of dismissive. Kind of like, girl, share a fucking Corolla. Who cares? But Lisa thinks that Gertie was being malicious with that. But she denies this. And then Lisa brings up Julia and how she was questioning her, like, mothering skills and questioning her as a mother. And as Lisa's talking about this, she gets pretty emotional. Like, understandably, you know what I mean? Because... Julia did ship ask her, oh, you know, did you, like, tuck your kids in, like, after that huge fight happened? Like, I, you know, wouldn't have gone, blah, blah, blah. So she's getting emotional because she feels like Julia's questioning her, like, her ability to, like, her decision-making and how she's, like, taking care of her children and the environment that she's leaving them in and everything. And Julia says, you know, I have nothing to apologize about. I asked you a simple question. It wasn't this, like, whole thing. I can just asking you a fucking question like it is what it is and she refuses to apologize she's like you know I didn't talk about your kids or your mothering skills it was an innocent question and Kiki Larissa and Gertie they're all kind of trying to talk Julia down like girl like just say you're sorry just say you didn't intend for it to come off that way but Julia's like no I am not I'm not a hypocrite I'm not gonna apologize if I'm not sorry I have nothing to be sorry for so she is standing 10 toes down on the ship and she says you know I don't know if I would have had the guts to attend the party after you dealt with what you dealt with and this sets Lisa off she mentions how Julia didn't even know the name of the school that her daughter was going to in Paris and she also brings up you know you have three baby daddies I've never said that to you before basically saying you know 
you're judging me as a mother and my decision making, but I've never judged yours. And Julia didn't hear um, the second comment that Lisa made about the baby daddies because she talked about it in on an Instagram story after the fact. And Lisa, so obviously Lisa's comment is disgusting as is, you know what I mean? Like, Larsa made a similar comment to Nicole, like, oh, you know, you had a child out of wedlock. Just that whole fucking traditional bullshit. Because we have to remember, like, the whole mindset that led, you know, like, the fucking, um, those homes for, like, unwed young mothers and, you know, the kids who aren't taken care of. Like, that whole trope, like, adds to that. You know what I mean? So she's tapping into that age-old fucking thing. Oh, you have this many baby daddies. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But with Julia... Because you have to remember, her firstborn child was murdered. Like, I'm not talking... It's always tragic, but I'm not even talking, like, a miscarriage. Like, like, her son was murdered, you know? So it's like, yo, like, why are you gonna, like, remind her of that? You know, oh, you have three baby daddies, even though she has two living children. It's like, it's just it's such a, a calloused... It would always be, like, terrible. It's just a, a disgusting thing to say. But just the fact of, like, knowing Julia's backstory, it's, like, even worse. Does that make sense? And may I add that Kiki and Nicole look so disappointed when the conversation takes this turn. Like, Kiki is just like, oh, my God. Nicole is just, like, has a fucking thousand-yard stare. Just like, uh, what is this? what has this come to, basically? And just as Lisa starts, like, getting it together again after that moment, Adriana and Anna waltz in. And Anna tells Lisa, you know, I've been rooting for you for day one. You know, fuck Lenny, blah, blah, blah. And this confuses Lisa, because earlier Lisa had mentioned that, like, Anna said some terrible things about her. And that same podcast where her and her fucking daughter were like, oh, Marisol looks like a fucking rotting corpse. Anna said something about, like, how... Lisa met Lenny while they were in Vegas. You know, Lisa was, like, she's a Canadian. She was there working as, probably as, like, a, a bottle girl. I'm not sure exactly what she was doing in Vegas. But she met Lenny in Vegas. And she was making a comment about, like, well, you know, why'd you marry some bitch you met in Vegas? That's for here, not to go. So it's kind of, like, commodifying Lisa and just all that bullshit. And it was only four months ago. So it was, like, af- it was well after the news of Lenny and Lisa's split broke. All that bullshit. So... Lisa's confused. She's like, I thought Anna was going to be a huge raging bitch, but she's not being one to me. So who knows? Don't let your guard down yet, Lisa. And while they're at the table, Lisa mentions how Marisol and Alexia straight up aren't there because of Anna's presence. And Anna acknowledges that. And while doing so, Lisa gets up, calls Alexia and Marisol. She tells them, hey, gotta get the fuck over here right now. And at that point, Larissa asks Adriana, yo, like, why didn't you tell anyone that you're bringing Anna? Like... What the fuck? And Adriana gets all snippy. She's like, because you're not the host, Larsa. <laughs> to be fair, you know, she did check in with Nicole because Nicole was the host. But she's like, you're not the host. So why the fuck should I tell you anything, Larsa? And Larsa's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Adriana's just not here with it. Kiki also kind of gives Adriana a little bit of shit. And when she gets attitude in response, Kiki storms out. And Adriana keeps fighting with Larsa. She does her old, same fucking... Oh, you were with the Kardashians for 10 years, like, with your fake Kim Kardashian ass. Her same comeback. And Laura says, like, and where were you? In the trash. (laughs) But the same old shit. Lisa says that Anna has an agenda. And just at that moment, Alexia and Marisol come back in with Kiki in tow. And there's then some more chaos about Anna shit-talking people and all that shit and everything. And Alexia then says that Nicole is mean, just like her mother said last season. And that's why she's not here right now at the luncheon. And Nicole fucking bites back at that point. And Alexia just being relentless, just like, Alexia is pissed at Nicole. And, you know, amid all the madness, Gertie decides to dip out. She's like, you know, I have my surgery coming up. It's not good for me, yada, yada, yada. And right afterwards, Anna says, I've said everything I need to say before she leaves. And mind you, this bitch hasn't even really said shit. <laughs> she just, like... Just her just presence just caused so much of a fucking stir. Even before she arrived. Like, her name card caused so much of a fucking stir. And Adriana says, you know, 
Anna wasn't even able to do the thing that, you know, she was supposed to do because World War Three started, which was not Adriana's intention, allegedly. And in the confessional, Julia says that she's really glad that Anna wasn't able to drop the, the bomb about Alexia and her finances and whatnot. Though she's kind of pissed off at Adriana because, you know, she's kind of like washing her hands of the situation while Nicole is the one taking all the heat. And, you know, I don't think that I think they know that Adriana is a part of the bullshit as well. But it's almost like they expect that of Adriana. But they're mad at Nicole because they're like, yo, I thought we were cool. What the fuck, Nicole? I thought you were better than that. That kind of mindset, it seems like. Uh, the next morning, we see Russell taking Gertie in for her surgery. Later on, we also see Gertie returning home and greeting her family. And I teared up. It was just a very emotional. She was telling her kids that she's all right. You know what I mean? Because it is scary. And, um... We see Nicole and Julia drop by and bring us some flowers and stuff. So we see that. It was a very emotional scene. We then see Julia have Adriana over to her place. And Julia talks about, you know, how after the luncheon, there's this fun-ass mamacita after party. We see a clip of Larissa, like, trying to throw a drink onto Julia's chest. But she misses. And I don't know who the fuck, but we, we see, like, the full, like, like the, the full scene, I guess. And she that Larissa actually hit Adriana with her drink. Like, when she was tossing a drink on her. So that's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> we also saw a moment between Julia and Lisa. Kind of like, Julia just kind of telling Lisa, Hey, I'm there for you. I'm a good friend. They're kind of kissing a little bit. And she's like, if you ever need anything, just call me. I'm always there for you. And Lisa's like, are you, are you going to fuck me? <laughs> but this little thing like that. Just like a fun after party kind of thing. Then... Julia tells Adriana about, you know, how Alexia and Marisol reacted to the news that Anna was going to the party. And Adriana is so pleased with it. She's like, oh, you know, they're running like some criminals from a fucking cop. Like, you know, why are they freaking out if they don't have anything to hide, blah, blah, blah. And Julia's trying to put it into perspective. She's like, there are some people who I would not want to have a, mother a Mother's Day lunch with. You know what I mean? Like, maybe, you know... They were justifying their reaction. Just kind of chit-chatting. Julia also says that Adriana intentionally tried to make the Mother's Day lunch chaotic. Though Adriana says that Julia's being just like one of them. Just like uh, Alexia and Marisol Larsa. Just like coming for Adriana and making her the bad guy in her mind. And Julia says, look, I've been getting to know Alexia. And, you know, I don't think this is the right approach. Just kind of like talking to, kind of trying to talk Adriana down from like the ledge with her essentially. And Adriana's getting kind of pissed off. She feels like Julia is placing more of a priority on her new friendship with Alexia rather than her, like, OG friendship with Adriana, if that makes sense. And Adriana says that Julia's playing a devil's advocate and storms out. And Julia's like, I just want Adriana to, like, take accountability and, like, take some of the heat off of Nicole. <laughs> like, that's basically what it comes down to. And then we check in with Nicole and Anthony, who, by the way, just revealed they're having a baby girl. Congratulations to them. And they check out the home that they're building. And, you know, while they're doing so, they discuss the lunch situation. And at that same time, like in the same, like, scene, I guess, we'll see Alexia and Marisol over at her house chatting about it. And we'll see Alexia and Frankie have a glass of champagne together. That, I was like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not his, like, a dog. But I, I probably wouldn't drink with Frankie. That's because she mentioned how, like, he had that really bad reaction to, like, smoking weed with Peter that one time. I don't fucking know, but I don't, I don't know. It was just like, oh, like, it, it just surprised me. You get me? And yeah, as Alexia and Marisol are talking about it, Alexia says that Nicole not having her mother at that Mother's Day party was a red flag. Because she feels like, you know, it's like Nicole knew she was going to pop off and she didn't want her mother to, like, be around there for it. She didn't want her mother's like, Mother's Day to be fucking ruined, essentially. So, yeah, they touch on that. They are not pleased with Nicole. In the next episode, we learn that, like, she's straight up not invited to Marisol's event. And it's like, Marisol, you're a friend of. Invite the fucking full-timer. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, Nicole's catching some heat, and that's why Julia's kind of annoyed with Adriana. So, yeah, that's where this episode ends. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Bye.